All right, welcome to workout 41 of the pandemic. That's right, workout 41. It's hard to believe that we've done this many, but here we are and that's what we've done. It's a high intensity workout today. We're gonna to start out low and slow with some movement prep and then we're gonna get into three or four sets of 10 different exercises. Well, eight, we're gonna repeat. Uh, the focus today is a bit on um, core strength, core stability, and also balance, imbalance. So we'll be doing some of that kind of high intensity work during the main set, three to four sets. We'll see, see what the mood is. Uh, and um, that's right, so that's where we are and that's where we're gonna go, let's get rolling. So movement prep, let's get started here, just standing nice and easy with our ankles together. We'll just start putting a little bit of mobility and movement into the ankles. And we're gonna to go to the right, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And to the left, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Open up those knees and little circles into the knees. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And come on up to standing. Engage those legs, really make them active. And big hip circles to the right. So lead with your hips, not the upper body. So you want to push those hips forward, out to the side and back. And we go 5, 4, Three, two, one, other direction. Squeezing those legs, starting to use those inner abdominals. Big hip circles, a little bigger each time. Leading with those hips, five, four, three, two, one. It's really good to start planting your feet here, setting your foundation from the ground up. Let's do some trunk twists. Roll up on the ball of that back foot. We're working that twist from the base of our spine all the way up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and cross one arm over the other, squeezing those shoulder blades back. Starting to walk around a little bit. And three, two, one. Let's make some circles in reverse. Starting to work out those crunchy sounds. And a little bit bigger, bigger, bigger. Looking at that popping and small circles forward. Bigger, bigger. Bigger, all right, gonna interlace our fingers. So I'm gonna make some little figure eights into our wrists, put a little mobility into those wrists. We'll be doing some push-ups, so we're gonna want access to wrists and shoulders and elbows. Three, two, one, and we just make some circles here with our hands. Again, little elbow mobility here, and other direction. Three, two, one, drop your chin to your chest. Roll your head and neck around your shoulders. Five, four, three, two, one, and other direction. Squeezing those legs up, starting to stabilize your core with some engagement. Three, two, one. Ooh, got a little dizzy there. Okay, open up that stance, feet pointed slightly out. Set your stance so that you're on your heels and the ball of your foot and you're flattening your arch, all right? So that's really building this nice arch foundation. And grab onto your toes, press yourself up as far as your body will let you go. Squeeze yourself back down. You pull yourself back down. <clears throat> pull on those toes to come back down, eight more. Seven more, 
six more. Five more. Four more. Three more. Two more. Last one. And press through the heels. Come up to standing and a back bend here. Slight back bend and squeeze those shoulder blades down. All right. Arm up and down. Squeezing those shoulder blades. All right. Hands by your side. So you're going to reach your right hand down the leg and reach that left arm over and back. Over and back. Squeeze those legs up. Push your hips out. And good. Okay. You're going to come into sort of a down dog with a slightly bent knee. Take your right foot, hook it over your left calf, and then we straighten our arms, bend our knee, and then straighten that left leg. Drop that heel to the ground. Bend the knee, drop that heel to the ground. We're just kind of waking up the back of the legs here. Push through those hands. And we get five, four, three, two, one. Other side. Hook that left foot over your calf and drop the heel. Bend the knee. Drop the heel. Bend the knee. Back and forth. Really waking up the back of our legs from our Achilles all the way up. Five, four, three, two, one, and look forward, jump forward, come on up. Okay. So. Take your left foot back behind your right leg. Hands up here. We're just going to do 10 quick drop squats here. You're really pushing up through that right heel. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, other direction, other side, right foot back, and here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Okay, let's do some bear crawl here. So we're going to come on down, knees hovering just above the ground. Go forward, right and left, right side, left side, right side, left side. Come back. Forward and back. Knees stay about an inch above the ground. 30 seconds to go. <sighs> 20 seconds. Engage those inner abs. <sighs> 10 seconds. Four, three, Two, one. All right, time to get a quick drink. We're going to get into the main set. So we've got 10 moves. Our first move, we're going to do 30 seconds each. First time through, I'm going to give us 20 seconds to transition. Second time through, comes down to 10 seconds. That 20 seconds is so that you get a chance to make that transition and get into the next move. 
works out. First move will be a lunge push-up series. We're just gonna be, we'll start down here. We come into a push-up, come up into a balance lunge. So this is tricky, come up into a balance lunge, come back down into a push-up, balance lunge, and then back into a push-up. So we're gonna do that for 30 seconds. You wanna start that, you wanna start that a little bit on the slower side so you figure it out. And then as you get more stable, we can go quicker. So come on down, we're going three, two, one. Push-up, lunge. Nice and stable here. Push you that heel to come back, to come up. Abdominals engaged and active, keeping your core busy. Up, up, up. Okay, that was 30 seconds. We're gonna make our transition. Let me show you the next move. We squat, come up, kick the leg out. Squat, kick the leg out. So we go in three, two, one. Squat, kick, squat, kick, squat, kick. Get nice and low, knees to elbows. Working the sides of those legs there. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, down to forearms. We come to a forearm plank and get into a body saw. So we'll be in that plank. We're gonna go back and forth, back and forth, using our abdominals to really guide that move. And come on down. Three, two, one. Here we go. Using those abdominals, keeping your glutes active, keeping your legs engaged. Keep a nice, straight line between the base of your spine and the crown of your head. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, what do I have? Uh, donkey kicks. So, we're gonna do donkey kick on the right. Where that back leg is bent, we look forward, and we really push off, almost like we're trying to work into a yoga headstand. So, if you've been, if you suffer from dizziness, lightheadedness, just stay, keep your feet on the ground, stay connected, and don't go for the full jump. If you're feeling fine, you go for the full jump, but look forward. You don't want to look back because you'll tumble over. It also makes it harder to commit to going forward. And it's that commitment that's the important part here. So, took a little bit longer than I wanted to to make that explanation, but here we go. Set yourself up. Squeeze the glute on that left leg and look forward and go. Keep that, push through that left heel. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, one. All right, we're going to do a quick transition and just go straight to the left side. And go. Look forward. Keep that right glute active. Push through that right heel. Got to keep that right glute active there, Brian. That's how this is done. Four, three, two, one. 
So that's, those are the donkey kicks. All right, we're gonna come down onto our back for Pilates scissors. And basically you take the right foot up, clap behind it, left foot up, tap behind it. So you got 30 seconds, go. Keep those abdominals engaged. Low back is connected to the ground. Point through those toes. Ten seconds to go. Three, two, one. All right. So we're going to do a power glute bridge, one leg. So you press your right toe into the ground, you kick, drive that right, that left leg up by really driving that right foot into the ground. Activate that right glute, come back down, engage everything. Three, two, one, go. Nice and quick here. This is about getting power, creating power. Nice and quick here. Three, two, one. All right, we're going to switch legs. We're going to switch legs and we're going to go in four, three, two, one. Ten seconds. That work, really feeling that work in the left glute, left hip. Three, two, one. Okay, so that is the end of the glute bridge. We're going to move into a cobra push up. So, this is again a lot like that yoga push up we've done before, if you've done these workouts, but we're not rolling onto the tops of our feet. Really keeping that work in our shoulder complex, our lats, and our triceps. So, we roll through. Keep your elbows as close to the side of your body as you can. You skim the ground with your chest and roll through. So roll back into down dog. We look forward and we're gonna go now. Squeeze hands close to your body, come back. Hands close to your body, come back. Keep those abdominals engaged. <sighs> Nice and quick. And that's it for those for now. Okay, so we're going to do a one-legged burpee. You can start on right or left leg, it doesn't matter. Here's the thing, this is a no jump, no push-up burpee. So we kick back with one leg, kick forward with one leg, with same leg, and we come up to standing. This is about balance and agility. So we're gonna go in three, Two, one, I got my left leg up, kick it back, come forward, stand up, hands up. You can add a push up if you want. I may do it just for fun and entertainment. We'll do the other leg next time through. Push it up to balance and down. All right, that is it for our first set of these. That's it for the first set of these. It's time for a quick drink. We're gonna get started back in this again in 30 seconds. So we'll do that lunge push up series, squat to kick. 
body saw, donkey kicks, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, so get ready. Come on down to your plank pose. Engage every muscle of your body and push up. Left foot forward, up to a balance. Right foot forward, up to a balance lunge. Three, two, one. Okay. Squat to side kick. Get yourself set up and go. Nice and quick here. Nice and quick here. This is where we build heat, where we build some cardio intensity. 10 seconds, and then we come down to body saw. Four, three, two, one. Come on down. Forearm plank for body saw. Engage every muscle in your body from the inside out, and go. Palms down, straight line from the base of your spine through the crown of your head. So you're not craning your neck. Squeezing the muscles in the front of your body to the back of your body. That isometric work, adding some intensity here. Three, two, one. Okay, so donkey kick. Pick your side, right or left. Doesn't matter, we'll get to them both. Three, two, one left glute active if my left leg is up. Looking forward. Uh, uh, load it with the bend in the knee and fire it up. Uh, 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 four, three, two, one. Other knee forward, and we get ready to go. We're just in that loaded position right now, looking forward, setting ourselves up. Three, two, go. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, one. What do I have next for us? I've got Pilates scissors. All right, so go onto your backs, engage every muscle, get ready, and go. Point to this toes. Trying to keep my legs straight. That is not my strong suit here. Gonna grab my. Four, three, two, one. All right, power glute bridge. So come back down. I'm gonna plant my left heel. Get ready to kick my right leg up, point through that toe, and go. Although you're focusing on the left side here, you want both hips to come up at the same time. So you don't want that right hip trailing behind. This is about creating stability. So you force by forcing dominance on one side but still making the other side work by keeping that stability. And foot down, get ready to go on the other side in three, two, one. Good. Powerful 
You want to do really power kicks here. Power kicks. Good. Drive it flop. Drive it up. There you go. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, that's great. So, cobra push ups. I'm gonna face the camera now. So, we do some cobra push ups that way. And we go in four, three, two, back into down dog. One, and go. Push it through. You wanna keep an equal distribution of weight between each side. You don't wanna let one side do more of the work. We're working, we're trying to push through those imbalances, those natural tendencies we have to be dominant on one side over the other. Three, two, one, kick your, look forward, kick your feet forward, and we get ready for one-legged burpees, left leg for me this time, and go. <clears throat> You can do a push-up if you want. So there's my imbalance right there. Looking forward, jumping forward. Three, two, one. Okay. We'll get a quick drink, let our heart rates come down for a moment before we start that next round of these. So we'll start in 15 seconds with our push up to a balanced lunge series. Okay, five seconds. Set yourself up. Push up pose. Every muscle in your body is engaged. Go. You really want to plant that foot from heel to ball of your foot. Four, three, two, one. Come on up to standing for sumo squat kick. Three, two, one. Here we go. Nice and quick here. This is where we start to build up that cardio intensity again. Elbows to knees, chest up and open. I'm gonna come down to body saw in four, three, two, one. Come on down to a body saw. Get into that forearm plank. Hips drop. Everything's engaged. Forward and back. Here we go. Every muscle in your body, every fiber is firing up here. Use your abdominals, use your spinal erecti muscles to move forward and back. Glutes should be wildly active here. Quads should be active here. And knees down. Okay, so donkey kick time. Choose right or left side. Doesn't matter. We're gonna go in three, two, one. Squeeze that glute of the leg that you are firing at. 
of that balancing leg. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. We're going to switch. We're going to get going, sort of a slightly shorter break to make up time. And go. Look forward, fly up. Look forward, commit to this. If you're looking backwards, you're not committing. Ten seconds. Looking forward. Three, two, one. And onto our backs for Pilates scissors. Here we go, come on back. Get ready to go in three, two, one. Point through those toes. Try and extend those legs. Activate those glutes. Really work them. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. All right, power glute bridge. We're gonna go in four seconds. Doesn't matter which side you start with, just pick it, remember it, and go. So I'm working the right side, but really kicking up with the left. Got my abdominals, my trunk, my full core complex is at work here, squeezing my shoulder blades into the mat isometrically. Small of my back is really connected. Four, three, two, one. We're going to switch sides. And here we go. Up. So just checking my phone for the timer. Five, four, three, two, one, and we have Cobra push ups. Keep those elbows in close to your body, and we move through nice and quickly to really just keep that our muscles time under tension. Back, forward, go. Nice and quickly, every muscle in your body is engaged. Look forward, roll forward, here we go. Really keep it going, nice and strong here. Three. Two, one. All right, so this is actually the last set of our workout. So we're going to make a slight change in this last one. We're going to do 30-second burpee on the, on the right, 30-second on the left. All right, so just going straight through for a full minute. And let's get started in four, three, two, one. Here we go. Push up if you want it or push up every other one or no push-up, doesn't matter. Up to you. So you really wanna use a ton of core stability to bring your leg up. Get ready to switch in three, two, one. Switch legs, up. Look forward, jump forward, press through your heel to come up. Always pressing through the heel in these lunge type, lunge or squat type moves. Press it up, 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 up. Ten seconds. 
four, three, two, come all the way up, make it count, up, 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 and ah, uh, re-catch your breath. Stand tall, take a walk around. We're gonna roll down. We're actually gonna come down to all fours. We're gonna come down to all fours and we're just gonna do some cat cow here. You drop your belly, raise your tail and your head and press away, round your back. Lower and press away. Lower, press away. So coming back into your breathing. So take a deep breath in, all the way down, pause. Notice that pause and exhale away. Pause at the top. Inhale through your nose down. Fully long pause and Exhale through your mouth, press away. Do a couple more at the rhythm of your own breath. Good. Okay. Drop your hips down to the right. We're just going to hang out here, feel that stretch. I'm going to feel that stretch on the outside of my right hip. While you're in that stretch, we're going to move forward and back. We're going to do that hip flossing motion. So if you've done some of my other workouts or my mobility and flexibility series, this is this hip flossing movement is a big part of that. And come over to the left. Drop your hip to the left. You just hang out there in that stretch. Stay with that breathing long and slow in through the nose, out through the mouth. While you're in that stretch, now we go forward and back just a range of motion of maybe five to seven inches, holding that stretch. Five, four, three, two, one. Open up those knees. You're gonna come down to your forearms, down into your forearms. You're just gonna hang out here. Dropping into those inner thighs. And now we go forward and back. Staying with your breathing. We can always come back to the breathing. It's a good opportunity to sneak in some passive meditation. Three, two, one. I'm going to fold my mat over. Give myself a little knee padding. Curl my left toe under. I'm going to lunge my right foot forward. Press my left toe into the ground, sink forward. I'm gonna activate, I'm gonna clench and release my left glute, 10, nine, eight, really push those feet, that heel, sorry, push those left toes into the ground. Clench and release for six, five, four, three, two, one, and right toe into the ground. Press yourself forward, drive your hips forward. Clench and release that right glute. Plant that right foot, we clench and release. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, gonna come into a tabletop pose. I take my right hand out to the right side. Drop my right shoulder to the ground, look to the left. Stretching into that right chest. Spread those fingers. We hold this for five, four, three, two, one. And left hand out. Drop that chest. And we hang out here for five, four, Three, two, one. <clears throat> sit tall, plant those sit bones, hands up, extend from the base of your spine through the crown of your head, and we're gonna reach over our shoes, not over our toes, 
not actually trying to grab. I'm just trying to reach. I squeeze the top of those legs and we push forward. I'm pushing from the base of my spine and holding it, squeezing the backs of those legs into the ground. We hold this for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands down, shake out those legs. Congratulate yourself for a job well done today. Another well workout, another workout in the books, number 41 of the pandemic. Thanks for watching. Thanks for playing along. Hope to see you soon. Bye.